cooking kitchen. I'm so glad you guys are here today. I am going to be creating a delicious corn avocado salad. And it is tasty, it's delicious, and it's a great way to get some healthy snacks, some healthy vegetables with those nutrients, the minerals, and all the things that we need to stay healthy. Talking about being healthy, I'm so excited that we've been um, getting together and growing this channel. And so if you haven't taken time to subscribe, it's important that you click on that button now and give me some feedback when you're done watching this video. And please share it with your friends and family. This is a wonderful way to incorporate some good veggies. This is something I enjoy doing quite often. And so let's just jump right into it. We're gonna be starting with some corn on the cob. We're gonna be uh, using avocados. We're gonna be using some great tomatoes. And the other thing we're gonna be using is some purple onion. And these are just wonderful. I love to add these into a salad. And we are gonna be making our own homemade dressing. One of the best ways to make sure that we eat healthy is to create healthy things in our kitchen. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get started. Now, a lot of times when people follow along, they wanna know exactly the amount of measurements I'm using. And I'll tell you, the way that I learned to cook was basically by watching either my mom, my aunts, my grandparents, watching cooking shows or reading cooking books. So what I try to do is to give you the best measurements that I can. But if I'm not specific enough, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did is I brought uh, some water to boil and I dropped in our corn. And this corn is delicious. The color is amazing. And I love the sweet corn. And um, a lot of times I want to just put a bunch of butter and take a big bite of this. But today we're going to make a, a delicious salad. When we're preparing corn for a salad, you want to make sure that we do what we call a flash boil. We only want it to be submerged in the hot water for four to six minutes at the most because we want it to keep those crisp kernels. So we've got this going. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the heat because it's been in there for about three or four minutes. Let's go ahead and get started with our dressing. Today I'm going to be using a splash of apple cider vinegar. I like apple cider vinegar, but you can use white vinegar or you can use rice vinegar when you're creating this in your kitchen. And we're going to use some extra virgin olive oil. Remember when you're making salads, you want to use an extra virgin olive oil if possible. And again, we're going to be adding a good couple of tablespoons of that. And this is where the fun gets started. I use this to create most of my dressings. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be adding in some zest from our lime. We're going to be creating a really delicious lime jalapeno dressing. And this is good on tossed salads too, but it is phenomenal when you mix it up with the onions and the tomatoes and the corn. And it is delicious. So we're basically just going to put in some of the zest. And then we're going to be reserving this lime because I'm going to use the juice to create the dressing. And let's go ahead and I'm going to add that in there. This smells so good. Something about lime is just such a fresh way to pick up the taste buds and it clears your palate. It's a great um, additive. And um, my son, who is currently working on his heart health, um, likes to use lime in place of salt. And so that's something that you might want to consider using in your kitchen there. And then I'm going to take this jalapeno and we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the same um, microplane and we're going to be grating the jalapeno in as well. The reason I like to do this rather than chopping it, it seems like it coats it really nicely and without being uh, too overwhelming, you know, with a big jalapeno pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and just add that in there. Ooh, I love that. And one of my favorite things to do is the old fashioned slam with the microplane, getting that all in there. Now you can add as much or as little as you'd like of the jalapeno, but we're going to be using two avocados today, so I'm going to make sure that we have a little bit of spice um, keep in there and ready to go. That was easy. Look how delicious that's already coming together and looking. And since we have our trusty tool out, let's go ahead and take some garlic and add that in as well to our delicious homemade dressing. So just as a quick recap, we have vinegar, which we use the apple cider vinegar, we use the olive oil, we put in some lime zest, and we added in some jalapeno, and then this delicious garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and get that all mixed up in there. Oh, yes. 
I love that. Now we're going to go ahead and use the limes that we had used the zest from. We're going to just squeeze those directly in to our salad dressing. Excuse me. Now this is a dressing, like I said, that you can use on other types of salads as well. And sometimes I like to make a nice pasta salad and use this as well for a little kick of flavor. It really incorporates all the um, acidity. It gives a nice creaminess with the olive oil, so that goes in there. And there we go. Give me another nice little stir. Look how beautiful that looks. And that was simple and easy. Let's put it on my hands. And it looks like our corn is ready. So I'm going to grab some tongs so we can remove this. Now, I've got a little bit of crazy jumble going on here, but it's going to be delicious, guys. So follow along. I took the time and I went ahead and I've already cut our grape tomatoes in half. You can also use a cherry tomato. And if you don't have the little tomatoes around the house, you can also use a Roma tomato and just dice that up and that works well. And then we have that purple onion that I love in the salads. Talking a little bit about avocados, you want to make sure that you use one that's ripe, that has a, a good firm t uh, push to it, but you don't want it to be too mushy when you're creating the salad. Thank you for following along. And let's go ahead and take out one of these corns here, and we'll let those start to cool for just a moment. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove the corn from the cob and add those directly to our salad. Ah, oh, this is great. Look at all these delicious colors. This is a fiesta salad if I've ever seen one before. Now as those cool down, I'm gonna get my mixing bowl ready for our serving for our salad. And when you come back, we're gonna go ahead and remove the corn from the cob. We'll put those avocados into the bowl and I'll show you how to get that dressing in there and enjoy this delicious salad. All right, we've got that corn cooled down so that I can work with that without burning my hands. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove corn from the cob. Now when I'm working with corn and I know that I'm going to be using a sharp knife, what I like to do is I cut off the ends of the corn to give myself a nice firm flat surface um, or a bottom to work with. So when you're holding your cobs, you're going to use a sharp knife and you're simply going to run it down the edge and you're gonna just be cutting off all of these delicious golden kernels of corn. And they pop right off, and you can see how delicious that is. And so I like to go ahead, and you can see that you get about a half a cup to maybe three quarters of a cup of corn off of each cup. So we'll go ahead and we'll add that in there. And let me uh, go ahead and finish with these, so follow along, and you can see. I like to make big pieces because when you're cooking with the corn you'll see that they sit, sometimes stay attached but if you find yourself getting too big of a chunk you can simply use your hands and break them up before you add them into your salad bowl real easy and quick now be careful when you're working with sharp objects in your kitchen and if you're not comfortable you might want to um, think about um, using a pot holder is something that I've also taught my kids to do where they would um, hold the corn or their um, carrot or their cucumber with a pot holder and it gives you a little bit more grip. So the hand that you're um, going to be using to hold your vegetables, you might want to cover up and, and do it that way as well. That's just a little tip or a hint that I'd like to add in there. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Now I'm going to go ahead and thinking that three is going to be plenty for us to use for this today. You can see all those colors, those look wonderful. Now let's go ahead and we are going to be using our same knife and we're going to go ahead and we are going to cut open this avocado and again you can see that it's nice and ripe and I'm going to simply just make some small little slices down and diagonal following along so you can see being very careful. Remember what I told you about that avocado hand before. I'm going to go ahead and scoop that out and look how lovely that looks. Working with our last one here. I like this salad because it's rustic. It doesn't have to be chopped perfectly. It's a great way to get those fresh vegetables in our life. 
I like to eat salads every single day. It's something that's important, especially when we do a lot of um, New Mexico cooking. We have a lot of fried things. We've got burritos and tacos and enchiladas, and we got to stay healthy and make sure we have our vegetables. So don't skip out on this delicious salad. Give it a chance. Now, as you can see, we put that together there. We're going to add in real quick and easy those delicious tomatoes. Nicely coat those. And there goes that delicious purple onion. Look at that. Those colors are fabulous. Now, remember, we made that zesty jalapeno lime dressing, so let's go ahead and stir that up. I added a little bit of black cracked pepper when the uh, camera was off. And this is a zesty one, so you want to make sure that you add it in and let everything get coated. And that creamy avocado, it's going to make it so delicious. This is one of my absolute favorite salads to make. And it's lovely. You can put this out with chicken. You can serve it on the side with your tacos, whatever you would like to do. But that looks great. Love it, love it, love it. Now this one, I don't need to have anybody join me in the kitchen for a taste test because this is one of my favorite salads to make. I'm going to go ahead and take a nice little sample here. And I'm going to let you know what a great cook I am because I can tell you this is one of my favorite things to make and I make it all the time. Mmm. I love this. This is a delicious salad. Give me some feedback. Tell me what you think about this salad. Hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm glad you came into the Zia Cooking Kitchen today. My name is Carrie. Click subscribe, click like, and come back and see me again. You have a great day.